we have considered the final beam section is consisting of two separate beam that means suppose this is a doubly reinforced beam section here four steel reinforced steel suppose width of this section is b and each effective depth is d here four steel reinforcement in tensile side and two reinforcement in compression side so this is the final section of the doubly reinforced beam to design this uh, doubly reinforced beam we have assumed that this beam is consisting of two separate beam so i have drawn the two separate beam here suppose this is one of the two separate beam and this is another beam d dash here from this section 272 reinforced steel is considered here whose uh, area of the steel is denoted by ast1 and other two reinforcement are considered here and area of this reinforcement is considered as ast2 and again in compression side the area of this two reinforcement is considered as asc and this distance is d dash that means from extreme compression fiber the distance between the extreme compression fiber to this tension reinforce um, sorry uh, reinforcement of in ten uh, compression side this is considered as singly reinforced section because um, this section have steel reinforcement only in tensile side so here the moment mu ultimate moment is mu lim that means this singly reinforced section reaches its limiting value of moment of resistance that means mu lim and here we consider mu 2 so final moment mu of this section is equal to mu1 plus mu2 mu1 moment of this section and mu2 is moment of this section so mu lim plus moment of this section is calculated fsc asc d into d dash this d into d minus d dash distance is this is the d minus d dash distance so asc is area of compression reinforcement d is effective depth of tensile steel effective depth of tension steel d dash is depth of compression reinforcement from compressive fiber and ast1 u1 is area of tensile reinforcement 
for singly reinforced section. And AST2 is area of detention reinforcement required to balance the compression reinforcement. So, finally we have the total moment of the section MU which is calculated in two parts MU1 and MU2. MU1 is moment of resistance of this singly reinforced section and MU2 is moment of this section. Again, this AST AST means uh, area of the steel reinforcement of the total section is equal to AST1 plus AST2 and F SC means stress in compression still. So we have some formulae to calculate this AST1 and AST2. So for AST1 we use this formula 0.36 FCKB XU lim. 0.87 Fy. For AST2, we have formula F -A FSC ASC 0.87 Fy. For ASC, we have MU2 SC. So, these three formula is used to calculate the moment of resistance of the final section. To calculate the final section moment area and uh, finally we designed by using this uh, value of the moment. So here we discuss now the IS code uh, procedure. procedure. That means uh, the procedure which have followed by IS-456-2000. So, now procedure. First is as a trial section, we have Design this uh, doubly reinforced section by trial and error method. So, as a first trial, let us assume XU equal to XU lim. That means XU is the depth of neutral axis. Depth of neutral axis. And XU lim is limiting value of this neutral axis. Again, strain in concrete at the level of compression steel. Strain, strain in concrete is calculated by this formula. 0 0.0035 formula. XU lim. So this is the formula to calculate strain in concrete section. Now second number step for mild steel if the strain less than 0 0.00125 then we use stress 
equal to 0 0.87 87 ES this is the modulus of elasticity of the steel ES is modulus of ES is modulus of elasticity of the steel and we have another condition if this strain is uh, greater than 0 0.00125 then we use FSC equal to 0.87 FY for HYSD bars HYSD means high yield strength deformed bar FSC can be calculated from the stress strain curve now step number 3 calculate AST2 by this formula FSC ASC.87 FY then step number 4 AST1 sorry AST minus AST2 total area of the steel minus this area of the steel then we calculate neutral axis depth by this formula 0.87 FY AST1 0.36 FCKB neutral axis is calculated by this formula then six number step this considering this value of this uh, x u repeat the step one to five so repeat the step one to five by considering the value of x u then we get finally a constant value of x u then step number seven if this constant value of the x u is less than x u limb that means limited uh, neutral axis depth then we use ultimate moment 0.87 fy ast 1 plus FSC ASC D minus D dash and if XU is greater than XU limb limiting uh, neutral axis depth is less than XU then moment ultimate moment is calculated by this equation plus FSC ASC D minus D dash so finally we get this moment to design this W reinforced section here this process in this procedure total is say uh, seven number of steps first step uh, we have to assume x u equal to x u limb that means depth of neutral axis equal to limiting depth of neutral axis as a first trial then we can calculate the strain in concrete by this equation then after that uh, for mild steel uh, if this uh, strain in concrete is less than 0 0.00125 then we use this equation for FSC here ES is the modulus of elasticity of the steel if this uh, strain is greater than 
0.00125 then we use FSC by this equation. So again uh, for uh, high yield strength deformed bar FSC calculated from stress strain graph. Stress strain curve. Then we have to calculate AST2 by this formula. Then from AST and AST2 we can calculate AST1. Then depth of this neutral axis is calculated by this formula. Then after we calculate the depth of neutral axis, then by keeping this value we repeat the step 1 to 5 so that we can get a constant value of xu after getting the constant value of xu then we have to check whether this uh, xu value is greater than or less than xu lim if this uh, xu is less than xu lim then we have to calculate the moment of resistance by this equation and again if xu is greater than xu lim then we have calculate the moment of resistance by this equation so finally we get the moment for design of the doubly reinforced section thank you guys